Yeah. I think they know that it's okay. easy. All right, that's fine. Are you getting my legs in here? Because I'm. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm <laughs> Can you be closer? No, you, this is perfect. Are we close enough? Should we be closer? Uh, you guys can separate yeah, more. We if can, you, want. you don't have to be. We can get close. closer. Body heat. It's fucking freezing in here. Well, the heat wasn't working. You got to know when to hold up. Know when to fold up. Know when to walk away. And know when to run. You never count your money. All right, everybody, welcome to ECD Best Bets uh, this whole college lacrosse season and maybe PLL. Uh, we're going to be bringing you uh, some picks every single week that you can uh, you can bet on or just follow along. Uh, make sure if you do want to bet, you are gambling responsibly. Uh, don't Please. bet a lot of money and especially just be careful because we don't know anything. No. Um, you know, disclaimer, I went uh, 13 and 25 on my PLL picks. That's a 34%. Uh, you could flip the coin. Uh, better than I did last season on those. But I'm a college lacrosse expert. I know college lacrosse. I've been watching since I was younger. I think we're we'll give out some winners here. And uh, we'll be doing three games and uh, best pick and Pat behind the camera, Pat's parlay of the week. So I'm Mitch. Uh, this is my first video with ECD. And hopefully, I think we're uh, to cut that part. What? Why? I'll decide what gets cut. Yeah, he'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll do the other. Okay. Um, and yeah, so let's fire off. All right, All right. All right great. All right, so let's get into some picks. Uh, I've got three games here we picked. Uh, we're going to each pick a side. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go from there. So let's start off with a what I think is one of the best matchups of the week. That's this, Hopkins at Jacksonville. Okay, the line is minus one and a half. Jacksonville's the favorite. Money line is minus 115 either side right now. So mm -hmm. either side even. Uh, Mitch, why don't you start off give us your pick. All right, so love this game. Got some stats here for you. So. Since since John Galloway has been at Jacksonville, two and four opening games of the season, two and four. Okay. With that being said, love Jacksonville. Absolutely love Jacksonville. Okay. So you so, gave a stat and then you took the opposite. Side. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's how my brain works. Okay. Because are you going to take that money line or are you taking a minus? I'm going to take a minus one and a half. Minus one and a half. Okay. Yes. Love their attack trio. Strong and cage. Love Jacksonville. Okay. All right. This is great. Uh, I'm going to go Hopkins money line. Of course you are. They're going to beat Jacksonville. Um, whatever picks you take, I just could fade. I just like fade those. That'd be smart. Yeah, you just gave a stat that, that said that they're smart. two and four in, in openers, mm -hmm. and then you took them. Cor correct. Okay, yes. I'll take Hopkins. Yes. All right, next game, we have Richmond at Maryland. Richmond won their conference last year. Mm -hmm. This is a good matchup. Richmond, seven and a half point underdog. That's, that's a, a big, big number. That's a big number. A big number. I'm not even going go through the money line. If you want Richmond, you could take them at plus 1,100. That's great odds if you really think they're going to pull off the upset. Over under is 27 and a half. And it's too many points. It's a lot it's of too, points. It's too many that's points. Way. I'm taking Richmond plus seven and a half. I, I have to agree. I mean, like, mm -hmm. as loaded as Maryland still is, they lost a lot of talent. And Richmond is always like a sneaky for spoilers, man. Like they beat Virginia last year. Seven and a half goals is a, that's a lot of goals. You got man. a stat? I don't have a stat. Okay. So have yeah, stat Richmond, seven and a half. We're both on it. You guys should probably take Maryland. All right. Uh, so we're both on Richmond, seven and a half. Uh, we're going to move to a little hometown game, a little Maryland game. We've got the Mount St. Mary's out there, Western Maryland. They're going to the Naval Academy. The line really? is minus five and a half uh, for Navy, home favorite here. Um, and the over under is 20 and a half. So very low, <sighs> low total here. So Mitch, give me your pick. You seem excited about I, that over under. I love the over on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, 20 and a half, how am I not supposed to take that? Um, <laughs> what, if I told you, what if I told you it, um, it went under last year? Doesn't matter. Okay. 20 and a half, 20 and okay. a half. That's, I, I feel like it could be like one of those, you know, 14, 10 games. Like I feel like it's going to be somewhat close. What? 14, 10, that's 24 points. Yeah. Over. Give me the over. Oh, you took the over? Yeah. Okay. All I right. took the over. Right. I'm going to go Navy minus five and a half. They're going to okay. open up. They're going to blow the doors off. Oh, it's minus five. You want the points? No, I want the points. I want the points. Okay. Five okay. and a half. That's a big, that's Mitch, a big Mitch is going to take a five over. and a half. I've got uh, Navy minus five and a half. Mount St. Mary's plus five and a half. Plus five and a half. And the over. And the over. All right. Uh, next, we're going to do our best bets of the weekend. So first, I'm going to flip it over to Pat, who's got your uh, parlay of the week. So, Pat. Welcome to Pat's Parlay Corner. I'm going to switch the gears a little bit. I'm more of the NLL guy. I'd call these Pat's NLL's Lock of the Week. My Lock of the Week, I have Halifax and Toronto. Halifax is playing Calgary. Toronto is playing the New York Riptide. Both red-hot teams. Both going to put it together. That's going to put you at about plus 115. 
easy way to double your money. We might ladder this later next week. We'll get there when it comes to it. Now, if you want to sprinkle a little on the top, Vegas took this bet down, but I love the Saskatchewan Rush this week. I got them at plus 205. They're playing Vancouver. Vancouver just traded away Mitch Jones to the Philadelphia Wings. Probably they're leading the score behind Logan Schuss. So that's where I sprinkle a little bit, and those are Pat's parlays. We are going to finish up with Mitch and my best bets of the week, so thank you, Pat, for your parlay. I will be placing that. Absolutely. I will be placing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, hot lately. I'm going to start off. Start yeah, off. I'm excited. My best bet is actually in the game we were talking about. It's in the Hopkins-Jacksonville game. I happen to know both defensive coordinators personally. Mm -hmm. Now, they haven't given me any insider information, uh, but James Kessler, I, I coached with him mm -hmm. a couple seasons when I was out of college. Chris Brzezinski was the E-Town head coach. Yep. Know them well. Yep. Defensive battle under 24 and a half. These guys are going to have their teams locked in, focused, ready to go. Hopkins, Jacksonville, under 24 and a half. I love that. And you and you really brought some good stuff there. Are you there. prepared for your best bet? I am prepared for okay. my best Let's bet. Go so I'm going to go, I'm going to go Q's minus two and a half over Vermont. Uh, they're getting Hilt's back. Absolute stud. And then I think Spelina is going to make an impact immediately. I mean, he's the number one recruit in the nation for a reason. So. That's my best bet. Minus two and a half. Minus right. two and a half. Perfect. All right, well, that's it for our show this week. Uh, we'll make sure we give you updates on how we did. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next week with more best bets. Make sure, let us know below. Do you like the bets? Do you dislike the bets? Are you going to fade us? I would, because I stink. Yeah, you should. But, Definitely you know, should. let us know how you feel, and uh, we'll own up to it. If we stink, mm -hmm. we'll be the first to admit that we stink. So, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll, but we're going to do it all season long. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see you guys next week. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving Knowing what to throw away, knowing what to keep, cause every